Ah, so the video was cut off. This is part two. We were just adding a slider. Um, now I'm gonna work on defining things. So let's define our own word. We'll say bub for bubble as uh, a medium box on a new line. Uh, it's a switch if uh, score is less than 10. Um, all right, let's see if that you know does a thing. Ah, I see it there. We make score big, it's off. When I come right down, there we go. 10, nope, less than 10, yep, okay. And so now, when I want to um, come over here and say, just add a, 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 another bub, um, it will do that. And in fact, let's say uh, s switch if score is greater than 10. All right, so now it's it's not on, the other guy is, and yes, it's, it's doing what we need. And the important part here, it's powerful to, you know, decide your own words, but the, the bigger piece is, if I wanna ask, I wanna say, you know, okay, on, on a new line, tell me what is uh, bub? Oh, and uh, as a row text row, don't stick it all in a box, there we go. Um, idea bub is text as graphic. Okay, that's not super um, helpful, but uh, it, it can provide lots of other info. Oh, and I need to, uh, how about we say, what about bub? And uh, in font normal. Fit left, we don't want the center of business, and um, I'm not sure what else would be helpful here. Oh, text, we gotta make sure that we're asking for text. In a row. <laughs> and it says switch 10, bub is a switch. Well, that's true, that's what it is. So I'm able to get answers live, you know, what, what things are, and it can give me additional detail too, it seems like. Um, Maybe we want to go small. Well, um, the ability to ask questions and get some answers, you know, what does this term mean? What, what's happening? Um, it certainly is valuable. Okay, uh, last thing, last thing will be, what if um, we want to have some more rich conditions? So uh, maybe we want to say, um, and another new line of text, row, um, and we're going to call this uh, test one. If score is greater than 20, I'd make this small text, um, and then uh, we're going to, then we will um, have uh, text called, yep. Uh, above 20, that's what we're gonna say. And so say that with uh, the Ava voice. And again, the name of the voices was shown before, all those things are there. Um, and maybe we wanna add one more uh, line here. I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit so it's easier to see. Um, and this will be then reveal flamo, because we, we made the flame before over here, right? But then we made it secret, made it hidden. And I can, again, read the words and see what's happening. Let's just test. Is that working? Okay, so we didn't give that a name. But it lets me show the logic here, and when I want to get rid of it, I can just write hide above it. Or I can put it in a space and write hide, and then... In... Yeah, above 20. Okay, and here comes the flame. Uh, and our other logic holds. When this is low, that guy goes on. Yeah, above 20. Sure. So you get the sense that no matter what I'm choosing, um, in, in this process, uh, I'm able to come through, read about what's going on, make changes, do rich uh, logic. Now I'm gonna open up the actual score itself, um, the, the, the app you know we were playing with before, and we're gonna make one more uh, 
alteration to this. So we're going to skip over here um, to our next our next phase. So this was supposed to cover um, dialogue and things, and I, hopefully it has. And we're going to go add some logos because that's one thing that the app itself has. So we've covered enough with dialogue. Um, oh, and there is the the sense of timeline. Uh, it is important to show you that we can always you know back up steps and go forward steps. Um, the whole thing is rewindable. Uh, I'm just gonna skip to the end because we, we've shown that in previous videos. So, um, and let's go make, let's make some logos. So here we are back with the web, right when we started uh, my history and I'm gonna skip ahead. Um, the apps look, you know, it looks pretty similar as the basic functionality there. It's got the control panel, a little different look. Um, and let's see, okay, this is my high school logo, uh, but people will all know um, the Lakers. So, and again, I'm just using a regular web browser. I can type in here. Um, I see that the shot clock is, is active. Um, so I've got this lake and I'm gonna pan and zoom. It's something probably not best for words, right? Uh, a little stretch in there. Stretch it that way, maybe zoom out a little more, and I'm just gonna add it. Boom, just hit add. This can be anything, live video, uh, and I can pull other information, data, you want the weather, you want a sports score, any other stuff, it's just words to add. Now I'm using the mouse because, hey, it's a lot easier. Um, so that's good enough, an adjustment. All right, and now we'll, uh, let's zoom ahead to one more. Let's make our own logo. So one of the cool things is we can use every tool on the web or other pieces of software in, um, in emulation. So I'm gonna skip it. Here's an AI experiment. This is Google's auto draw. It's pretty cool. Again, we can use everything. So I'm gonna try drawing. Oh, this is a terrible basketball. Um, yeah. I am glad for this kind of app because my drawing skills are not uh, really getting there. Well, there's a soccer ball. That wouldn't be right. Funny thing is, I've done this many times and I've gotten the basketball, but not today. Um, well, we could just pick somebody, we'll, we'll pick a, a, a sports hero for the moment so this doesn't go on for, for too, too long. Or um, what's this, is that a good logo? Well, I'm not sure about that. Um, anyway, let's, let's color it in, I guess, a little. Let's pick a color. All righty. And um, let's just center that guy. You know, rather than make this perfect, let me just bring it over here just so you can get the sense. I could pan and zoom like I just did, but this is a long video. So, hey, we just made two logos, the Lakers versus the weird soccer ball logo people. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to, um, to looking at themes. So the idea here is we can also use words to make, sorry, I had a little interruption there. Um, we can also use words to make um, 3D visuals. So here's a scene. This might be, you know, tons of different scoreboards across the world or different people. So I'm going to have a, you know, I'm controlling. This is an interface made with words. It, you know, spins around. I got my little slider, just like we showed. I've got values. Um, and I just want to give you a sense that we can take visuals and, you know, build whole scenes. So there's, there's a little depth of field. It's sharper, blurred out, real crisp. Um, you know, maybe want to zoom in a bunch here. Let me get the zoom in so you can get real up close or, or pan back. Um, so this theme was the, the mobile app theme. Let's check out a couple others. Uh, here's sort of a desktop item with a bunch of screens floating. Um, you know, orgy style with hexagons. That industrial look I liked. Uh, this was cyber. is going to put everybody inside of gems, prisms. 
Um, and they're all interactive. You know, remember that everybody here, these all still London work. Bonding. Yep, see we got the fireworks and it's in the, the sketch or the blueprint. Um, and here we are with space, uh, you know, um, a far away theme. Or even just playtime, just silly little Lego guys. Um, the last thing to show is that whatever you make, um, we can export all the visuals. I'm just going to turn off the fireworks by raising the score. All of the visuals. Here they are high res. Here they are very low res. Uh, the data, the sounds, the words, and the meaning. All of the pieces. There's no lock-in. We can export it all. So this could just run on the web without anything else. Or just be a standalone app. Or use it in Wantware and modify it as you'd like. Um, one of the last things to show is that you know you can build your own views. So this isn't really a pro editor, it's just, it's my view. It's what I use to go through when I'm playing around with this and making apps. Um, you can design your own. It's so if there's one thing this lengthy video has uh, established, I'm hoping is that you can use your words to build apps. You can make them quickly, they're reliable, they're extendable, you can share them, you could monetize that, and you can go back and understand, huh, what did I mean there? Why is this happening? What's going on? Um, it's, uh, it's all in your control. So this is Wantware, made by people for people. Thanks for watching.